was very good, guys. Thank you. Delta Goodrum, Brian McFadden. Uh, singing okay. there. What? <laughs> sorry, I was just moving my chair. No, that's okay. You had, you had, uh, you had your backs to me while you were performing. Yeah, that. sorry about that. And uh, fortunately, there were no wickets. Oh, thank before, goodness. Because that would have been a unique performance. Uh, Almost Here comes out on the 31st of January. I hope you can hang around because we want to ask you a few, okay. few more questions the other side of the news and sports. So, having uh, done a song like that, which is a duet, you're looking at each other the whole time uh, that you're singing it. Does that make it. Um, a completely different song when you're used to, I mean Brian's obviously sung with loads of people before yes. being in a band that's part of what he does hasn't been part of what you do though no it hasn't but I guess from just even playing with like like guitarists or piano player and piano player sorry other piano players let me rephrase that again um, I find that it's always nice to have eye contact or you're always connecting with the audience you're always like looking into their eyes but it is really I mean I know I've really enjoyed it especially with Brian like just singing and you do look at them in the eyes because it's like you really do have to connect and make sure that you're that you're really in tune and just and singing from the heart I guess so it is mm. it's fun I mean I'm enjoying it it's so, so you were looking at him in the eyes just <laughs> because it was a duet rather than He's well, I think when you, when you sing, when you, when you sing on your own, whenever there's an audience or there's people listening, you, you have to kind of put yourself in your own bubble. So you, you're not really looking at anyone or really thinking about anyone else's thinking. So when you're singing with somebody else, I think you have to kind of bring them into that bubble. I think it's good because, like, especially how this song is kind of structured. Like, when he's speaking in the verses, it's if you listen to what he's saying, like, I, like when I stand there and I'm listening, you listen to the words. It's like you are speaking back. It's like, but when I need you, you're almost here. So you're trying to like really sing from the heart and just say, you yeah. know, actually, I'm just listening to what you're saying, and then you're talking about it. It's, I mean, it's just been really crazy times. So I know every time you just sing that, it's like it's really. But it is just a one-off. I mean, it's just it it worked for this particular yeah. song. You're both still solo artists, continuing mm. to Absolutely. do your solo. Absolutely, yeah. that's the thing. We've still got our separate identities, and we really do have our have our certain sort of styles of music and how we play and how we write too. But um, in this song, it's just I think it's just the the connection that you have. Mm. It worked well in the song. Brian McFadden and Delta Goodrum is uh, are here. You've missed the uh, you've missed the song. If you just join us, I don't think there are any other tunes you do together, are there? <laughs> we do Hollow No More. There's a, we, we wrote a, um, a B-side on the single, so there's like another song where we did a duet and thought it would be good fun just to put another song that we wrote on there. B-side? You still think of B-sides, do you? Yeah, you know, I think it's always fun to kind of do another song and, and it's always like a, a mini little LP. And You, know. you mentioned um, uh, a songwriter who you both have in common, uh, Guy, who, James. Guy James, who, who crops up so often when you talk to people about their about their new album or people that they're working with. I mean, he, he's just been involved with so many different artists, mm. as you have both, I mean, presumably independently, uh, ended up working with him. What yeah. is it that someone like Guy there's, Chambers... That's the thing about Guy. There's so many people out there that, that co-write with artists, but I don't know what Guy has, but he has this magic of... of taking out the best. T taking out the best of an artist. He, whenever he co-writes with another artist, he just seems to bring out their best quality. Like, he definitely done that with me. You can see he done it when he wrote with Delta, and, and lots of other people he's written with. He just seems to nourish what they have maybe stuff maybe you know parts of your songwriting that you didn't realize you had he will make you realize you have it he just gets to know you as well it's like when he like especially with i know with with my music i felt that he was very you know just knew got to know me and then got to know what sort of things i like and not like in songs like he would have with brian's album yeah. so it's just it's as indefinable as that it's just that so many people but sometimes so with writers i think what what it is is just that they sometimes they want to do their ideas or but i think with guy like He's just that he d wants to do what he they wants do. to make your ideas better. Yeah. Do you bring the ideas to him? Does he bring the stuff? No, you, to you know, I mean, start, you start them together. It depends. It's different every time. Sometimes you'd have an idea already, or he might have had an idea when he got up. But he he, he isn't pushy. You know, he, he's more encouraging that it's that it comes from you, especially when it comes to lyrics and concepts. He wants it to be, you know, more come from your heart, and he'll just help you. He's like, as long as like a teacher, sort of the way he works. Mm. Greg Ale Greg Alexander's the other one. Who uh, who turns out? Who's the guy in the new radicals? Yeah, yeah, no, he is, and, yeah. and he he turns up writing songs, helping oh, people he? out. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he and Guy Chambers are probably the most prolific. Right. Uh, at the moment, it was just some suggestions for future collaborations. Good thing. Mm -hmm. How was the uh, the gig in Cardiff, Brian? Yeah, it was amazing. It was unbelievable. Um, it was just incredible to see so many you know different artists there for the for the. Um, were you there for the whole thing? No, we only we were only there for about two hours. CD UK. Did yeah, because we were doing we were doing CD UK in the morning and we just drove straight down. Um, yeah, but it was incredible. The, the atmosphere backstage was amazing. Everyone was just on a real high, and um, and the audience was on a high. It was just, it was a really, really good day, and it was a real positive atmosphere down there. Did, Super. Did it make you want to hang around and do more? You know, and just join in and make tea and coffee. Yeah, it, it, there is. That, that's the kind of vibe, and everyone was you know, chatting backstage, and everyone, 
you know when you do a normal gig it's there's only a bit of a negative atmosphere and people just want to do the gig and go but everyone's just hanging around and and i think the whole the whole thing over christmas just touched everyone you know and i think you could see that in in everyone that that was there everyone was in some way affected by it and and emotionally connected to the whole day and the whole you know the whole fundraising event. what do you think of it delta what do I think of it? Yeah, well, what, what do you think of the gig? Well, I think it's fantastic when people unite like that. And I think that it could, it's, it's such a way of coming back. Like when, when a tragedy happens like that, all of a sudden you do turn to your family and friends and everyone sort of unites on it, even if you don't know level. And I think to see people put this together and volunteers and everybody, I think it's absolutely fantastic mm. that people could do that. Um, when we spoke last, we talked about um, your album, which had, uh, which had just come out. In fact, you both have in common pretty intense songs yes. that, uh, that you write songs about something. Yes, there's some love songs in there as well, but uh, you like your songs to actually be about well, something. And, a, sorry, keep going. No, no, sorry, I, was just, I was just going to, you know, you have this track, Extraordinary Day, uh, on your program. People will know that you were extremely uh, ill. Yes. Um, has that, where is that in, uh, in your healing process? Have you be, are you in remission? Have you? Uh, oh, um, how's my health? Completely better, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in remission at the moment. I, do, I don't get the all clear for about five years, so I just got to make sure that I, I stay on top of it, and, and hopefully could just help lots of other people out there by writing songs about it, and, and just yeah, keep going on. But I'm feeling a lot better and, and feeling really positive. It's taken a long time to feel positive and feeling um, a lot more energy, so that's a really nice feeling.